Hi, and welcome to another video on the Targeted Individual Program. Now, I've done a couple of these videos uh, to expose um, what's being done. Basically, a targeted individual is somebody who has been put into a coercive mind control program. Um, it could be for whatever reason. It could be for revenge. It could be for whistleblowing. It could be just because, you know, they're unfortunate enough to be selected and put into these programs, okay? Um, there are many mind control programs that uh, has been conducted by our government with the CIA and the NSA, including the FBI, all willing participants in these kind of programs. Um, you have many uh, exper non-consensual experimentation programs that was committed by <coughs> the U.S. government, okay? You look at throughout history, um, the Tuskegee experiment, the uh, radiation experiment where poor uh, black men were given um, plutonium, okay, and just to see the effect of plutonium, and those men uh, end up dying, okay. You've had uh, the sterilization program that went on for a number of years in which uh, victims were deemed or uh, labeled uh, mentally ill or mentally challenged and were unfit to reproduce so they sterilize a lot of these uh, individuals and sometimes it, it had nothing to do with having a mental illness it had to do with maybe they the state may consider you because you had a child at a young age so they consider you to be too promiscuous I mean, as a female, so they would sterilize you. And as a male, they would do the same thing, too. They would, they would sterilize you so you wouldn't have any kids. Now, these cases, they, you know, they've all been out in the news. And these are proof that gov the government has committed non-consensual experimentation, which I would call atrocities, to individuals right here in the United States. So when people uh, look at a target individual and want to label us as being crazy and delusional, all I have to say is, you know, do your research, and <laughs> I always say this in these videos, do your re the research, you will find a lot of cases in which people who have been called mentally ill when complaining about things that were being done by the government or the FBI or the CIA have been vindicated, okay? Um, so I want to get into a little bit of my targeting, okay, and it's a ongoing, continu uh, continuous uh, har uh, harassment and uh, brainwashing program. I have yet to adapt to their ideology, you know, so I fight against it every single day um, because I feel that in, for you to go through such length to indoctrinate anyone, okay, into your belief system, okay for whatever whatever belief system that is okay to use mind control and to to cover up the atrocities that you're being that's being committed the fact that you use co poor practice tactics the fact that you villainize the targeted individual to the point where people uh view that individual as not being human that someone that they just want to get rid of so i will do what i can to expose this program. I will do what I can to let others know the tactics that's being done. And, you know, as with, 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 with my targeting, you know, I get targeted by the police. I get targeted by uh, firefighters um, with the noise campaign. Um, I get targeted, you know, neighbors. But, you know, that's, listen, Hitler did the same thing to the Jews, okay? So it doesn't. It's not surprising to me. After I have developed a wealth of knowledge and information of these type of programs, so I'm not surprised that these programs still exist today. What I am surprised of is that the general public goes along with these programs. Okay, that they have actually convinced people that somehow these programs are are needed for whatever reason. Okay, and so the general public, instead of speaking out against these programs. Uh, accepted it. Same thing that happened in Germany, okay, with the Jewish people. The German citizens accepted what the Nazis were doing. They were indoctrinated into that belief system, and 
guess what? Six million people was eliminated from the face of the earth. Okay? So, um, again, I'm going to read something from factnet.org. That's, that's F A C T N E T dot dot O R G. Okay? And, you know, it talks about these kind of programs, it talks about these coercive programs. And so this is from uh, a renowned psychiatrist, uh, Margaret Singer. And she wrote, the term thought reform was introduced into the psychiatric literature by Lifton and the term coercive persuasion by Schrent. Both describe the organized ideological molding program introduced by the Chinese communists after the 1949 takeover. Thought reform programs were used in the revolutionary universities, other educational settings, and prison environments. Lofton Shen and other authors wrote about psychological effects in military and civilian prisoners, as well as an individual exposed to thought reform programs in non-prison settings. These authors call attention to the manipulation process that has been organized into effective psychological and social influence program aimed at changing the political beliefs of individual. In early as 1929, Ma Tang Sung was waging a thought struggle to achieve unity and discipline in the, communist, in the Chinese Communist Party. Following the proclamation of the People's Republic of China in 1949, hundreds or thousands were exposed to thought reform programs to achieve ideological remolding. Group struggle sessions convinced individuals to denounce their past political views and to adopt the new state-approved political outlook. Neither mysterious method nor arcane new technology were involved. The effectiveness of thought reform programs did not depend on prison settings, physical abuse, or death threats. Program uses the organization and application of intense guilt, shame, anxiety manipulation combined with the production of strong emotional arousal in settings where people did not leave because of social and psychological pressures or because of enforced confinement. The pressures could be reduced only by participants accepting the belief system or adapting behavior promulgated by the proverbs of thought reform programs. So basically, this is what um, me, I, as a targeted individual, uh, experience. Okay, I am put into this kind of program, okay, which uses unbelievable technology, but Trust me when I say that these technologies do exist. If you do the research, you will find all the information you will ever need about non-lethal weapons and mind control technology. They do exist. Okay? I know it's hard for a lot of people out there to believe that. I know it's hard for you to believe that someone can manipulate you. I know it's hard for you to believe that someone can probably make you do something that you don't want to do. Okay? You, I ask you to go and look at uh, Darren Brown uh, videos he, on YouTube where he does these experiments, these psychological experiments, and you will see exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Uh, these programs are not meant to help the individuals that are within these programs. If that is what you as the general public who engage in this, acti in this illegal activity is led to believe, well, it does not, okay? If you're on some type of righteous crusade, ridden the world of evildoers, okay, then you're just as delusional as many of you claim that the target individual are. So, as I said, this is a program that uses a coercive psychological system to hide the experimentation of directed energy weapon and mind control technologies. Okay? So you, the people who engage in targeting the targeted individual, I'm talking about people who stalk targeted individuals, who do these hand signals, uh, who say these uh, mean-spirited things as the target walks by, 
okay, you are being deceived. And in any of these programs, especially coercive mind control program, the general public or the people, the participant who is set against the person who is uh, put into these programs are all deceived. Okay, so you can believe what you want to believe. So, um, over the weekend, uh, this is some of my experience. Uh, I've had uh, driving to pick up my son. Um, I've had people um, just cut me off, okay? I'm talking about, you know, where I'm on a two-way street where there is three lanes on each side. And people would come from the far left, from the furthest left, to drive in front of me to make a right turn, okay? They, they didn't get into the right into the right lane behind me or even in front of me, but they were there at the far left lane, and then if I'm at the stoplight, the light change, they would zoom off and make that right turn. Now, if I wasn't alert, because I know I am in this program, and I know that one of the tactics used by these perps is that if you do drive they will make you have an accident because they don't want you to drive they want you on foot they want you taking a bus taking a train they want you walking because that way more people are set against you more people are put in your path to target you okay and because when you're driving is not so much people I mean there are people driving but there's so much that they can do okay so I, like I said, I, you know, I would say that I almost got into numerous accidents, and it's only because I'm not an aggressive driver. I'm a very defensive driver. That I was, I was able to avoid any kind of accident that was happening. Okay, but again, it's because they don't want me driving. They want me taking a bus or taking a train, and you know, pretty soon I will be taking a bus and I will be taking a train. Okay, so you perps that are watching, you know. I'm going to be ready for you, just as how I know you're going to be ready for me. So I'm going to be prepared. All right? So we'll see who's going to win that battle. Uh, anyway. Um, then also, uh, a lot of police activities happening around me. Now, usually when that happens is because when I, whenever I ignore the perps, I don't give them any type of response to the hand signal, to the... Uh, the things that they may say as they walk past me or the things that they may do. Um, so when I don't give them any response, then they send the authorities uh, to kind of, you know, to harass me, to harass me, to kind of reinstall that kind of paranoid way of thinking or that, or that you know, that, that fear-based conditioning of being, you know, arrested or being killed. Um, you know, I've received numerous death threats uh, on my life um, in terms of if I gain any type of employment that um, they will kill me or they will put me in jail. And so, you know, the blacklisting campaign is very effective in these type of programs, um, especially when it's the federal government that's doing it. Um, you know, and they use this, they infiltrate the churches, okay, and we all know that religious people are self-righteous, okay? Even though there's nothing about them that's righteous, okay? Because if it was anything about them that's righteous, they wouldn't participate in psychologically harming any human being, okay? But we all know that within churches, they, have, they are secret societies, uh, otherwise known as cults, okay? And so, like I said, I'm not surprised. But what I am surprised is that the amount of people that are involved in the psychological torture and harassment of another human being, that surprises me, okay? Especially in this day and age, especially uh, after what Hitler did, okay, to the people of Germany, as well as to the Jews. And, you know, to my surprise that there are even Jewish people that target me. You know, which, which is very surprising to me. But again, you know, it, it's I'm not surprised by that because, um, you know, whenever a people have been subjugated or are uh, uh, tortured in any sort of way, 
they'll turn around and do the same thing to somebody else. So I'm not surprised. So like I said, um, I did go pick up my son. Uh, we had a great weekend. And um, no matter what the perps will do or may do, it will not deter me from spending quality time with my kids. Because I know they want me to be negative, but I refuse to be negative. Okay? You have silently put that negative thought of thinking into my mind, but guess what? I thank the previous uh, targeted individuals who've put up websites, who've done talk shows, uh, who've put out information to expose the uh, program for what it is, okay? So I thank them, and I try to do the same thing myself in terms of returning the favor to the next targeted individual, whoever that may be, that he may find my information, he or she may find my information, and that it will be helpful uh, to them and help them to uh, fight back uh, against um, their torturers. Okay? So this is the end of this video. I look forward to doing another one. Um, don't know what the topic will be, but I'm sure I will find a topic to talk about. And as always, it will be about the target individual.